Update now for thousands of veterans impacted by toxic water at Camp Lejeune. Today, the Justice Department and Navy announced a voluntary settlement option. So these settlements are broken down into two categories, tiers one and two. Tier one applies to veterans with diseases like kidney or liver cancer and settlements ranging from $150,000 to $450,000. Under tier two, veterans with diseases like Parkinson or kidney disease could get between one to $400,000. Each settlement depends on the amount of time that was spent at Camp Lejeune. Now, claims involving a veteran who died would receive an additional $100,000. The Justice Department says more than 93,000 claims have been filed so far. And as of our last story on Camp Lejeune's toxic water at the end of July, no claims had been settled at that time. And tonight we are hearing from families impacted by the toxic water. They're reacting to this news. Michelle James, who is a Jacksonville widow, we've been following her story. She calls this proposal insulting saying that those of us who lost loved ones are disgusted. Is that that the price they put on life? 100,000 for someone who signed up to serve their country and give their life to protect and decades later be served. This blow is really an insult to injury. You can read our investigative report on toxic water at Camp Lejeune and find resources for survivors and victims in this story on firstcoastnews.com and the First Coast News app.